Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm finally getting a chance to film my part two Ulta haul. And today I have a bunch of fun stuff to talk to you guys about and show you. I am primarily going to be talking about J-Cat Beauty items. Most, if not all of these items are only available online. I picked them all up through Ulta.com and I am really excited. I have heard some really good things about some of these items. So if you want to hear about and see some swatches, just keep on watching. So the first item that I am going to be talking to you guys about, I am really excited for. These are the J-Cat Beauty Pris Metal Chrome Eye Mousse. When I first saw these on Ulta.com, um, by the description, I thought that these were going to be very, very similar to the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Now, I have already kind of dipped my finger in the J-Cat one. They're definitely not the same formulation or consistency as the ColourPop. What I mean by that is the Pris Metals are a little bit more of a gel-like consistency. They're definitely very dense. I don't get a lot of bounce when I'm tapping my finger in it. So um, they're definitely not moussey as described. I wouldn't really even call this a mousse. I would maybe call this a cream to gel shadow. I'm gonna show you the difference of consistency between the color pop. So as you can see, when I press in, it's kind of more of a bouncy consistency. It's like a putty, actually. They are definitely different than the J-Cat. As far as the price point goes, these are six bucks a eyeshadow. They are very much in line with the ColourPop. I think these are either five or six dollars per shadow. So let me go ahead and show you the swatches. I picked up seven colors and these ones seem to be the most wearable. There were a few online that I almost picked up, but I wanted to actually try them out first before expanding the collection. So the first color that I have here is called Chrome Galaxy. Now this one is a really pretty bronzy pink. Whoa, look at the shine. That is beautiful. That is so, so nice. So as you swatch it, you can see the color payoff is like boom in your face. These do not play around when it comes to color payoff and reflection. The second color that I have is called Champagne Whiz. That is beautiful a more rosy champagne color. This is definitely more of a true bronzed champagne. The third color I have is called Poppin' Lockin'. I love that name, it's super cute. And this one is a ultraviolet blue with a purple shift. That is just beautiful. That is a fun, fun, fun color. I really haven't seen a color like this, I don't think ever actually, this is a really neat color. So the next color is called Dreamer. And this one is more of a periwinkle blue. This one feels a little bit more chunky. It's not laying down on the hand quite as smoothly as the full chrome colors. Um, this one seems to be a little bit more of a matted down chrome. It does have a little shimmer built in, but it's not as reflective as these two shades here. It's a little bit less reflective than this one. 
Then we have Gray Later. Whoa. Wow. Wow. That is a absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous slate gray with a silver reflection. That is absolutely amazing. I am going to definitely be using this when I do a smoked out eye and I could see this being packed on the lid to give that dimension and just an extra like added oomph to a smoky eye. This is absolutely beautiful. Then I also picked up these two more iridescent colors. This one is Holography Types and this one is called Pinky Promise. So let me start with Pinky Promise. And this one actually has a little bit of a different consistency. This is a little bit more moussey than the other ones, not as dense. I'm not as excited about this one. Um, I thought it was gonna be more of a, like a iridescent chrome, but it is picking up really, really light on the skin. I wonder if this is more meant to be a topper shadow to kind of transform a shadow into more of a pink shift. So I definitely want to try this over shadow. I have here my Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just filmed an eye look using this palette as well as a Sephora haul. If you're interested in seeing my full thoughts and the swatches of this palette, I'll link the video right here. I'm gonna use this palette to lay down a base shade and then I'm going to use this as a topper and see what happens. So this is a matte pinkish red shadow. And let me just lay this product on top and see. See what happens. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Now I'm understanding this one. So that just took this matte shade and turned it into a shimmer reflective shade. It actually pinkened it up quite a bit. That is really, really, really cool. I... I'm excited to try those out on top of some eye looks. Now let me show you Holography Types, which looks like it's throwing more of a purpley blue cast. So let's put that on top of the same shadow that we just used for this one and see what happens. That is really, really neat. I absolutely love these. At first, I looked at them and on the skin alone, I was a little bit underwhelmed, but I really can understand now if you're gonna be using these as a topper on top of an existing shadow, these are going to add a ton of reflection, a ton of dimension to the look. Um, and I'm actually really impressed on how these laid over the shadow. They didn't pull the shadow. They didn't actually crease the shadow. We will see how these work on the eye. I might actually end up playing around with these a little bit and then do a final thoughts video after using these sometime and then probably film a full makeup look using this shadow. Then the next two items I picked up from the brand is called the Lip Tonics Extreme Lip Toppers. These look absolutely beautiful. Um, they are definitely very shimmery. I wouldn't say that these are full on glitter glosses. They almost look like more of a metallic lip topper. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. The first color I have is called Pebbles BFF. And then the second color I have is called Galaxy Glow. Ooh, 
really, really pretty. Okay, now let's try them on the lips bare. I went ahead and removed my lipstick, as you can see. Nothing there. Pebbles BFF, let's try that one first. Wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful gloss. It is reflective, but without the large chunks of glitter. It looks like a really wet gloss. It is just absolutely stunning. Now let's go ahead and try on Galaxy Glow. So beautiful. I am a fan of these lip toppers, you guys. They are just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so next up, I am going to be talking to you guys about these little bad boys here. These are the J-Cat Beauty Aqua Assurance Compact Foundations. So I ended up picking up two different colors. One is medium beige and the other one is soft tan. I actually really wanted to get my hands on the color natural, which is I think a step down from this color. Um, unfortunately, that color has been sold out for forever, for like months and months and months. So I just went ahead and picked these two up and hoping to God that they are actually going to be a good match for me. So let me show you inside of the compact. So it does have a mirror with like a plastic protective film on it. This is the color medium beige. So as we open it up, you can see that there is a ventilated compartment here which holds a sponge that was included in the compact. So I do really like when my compacts have a sponge built in. It just makes it so much easier to throw this in a bag and walk out the door without thinking if you're missing your applicator or adding a brush which might be too large for your purse. So that's nice. As far as the packaging goes, I kind of feel like this packaging is a little lackluster. It's not something that I would personally be proud to pull out of my purse, if you know what I mean. Um, it is just a little bit kiddish with the multicolors and the label. Um, it's like a rainbow label. It kind of reminds me of honestly like makeup that you can pick up at like Justice. I don't know. There's something about this packaging that just is kind of throwing me off. So let me read a little bit about this foundation. This is an innovative hydrating powder foundation that covers imperfections and evens out the skin tone. Weightless, finely milled formula that maximizes the appearance of pores. <laughs> that maximizes. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't buy this if it maximized my pores. Let me read that again. Weightless, finely milled formula that minimizes the appearance of pores and improves complexion. Non-clogging powder that absorbs and balances excess oil without looking cakey. That's a nice thing. Blends effortlessly and applies evenly for a flawless finish. So this also says that the foundation can be used wet or dry. So I think that that is kind of interesting. I do wanna swatch it for you. So this is soft tan and this is medium beige. I think this actually might be a really nice color when I have a spray tan. Um, as far as right now, it's middle of November. I have zero color on me, so that is definitely not going to suit me right now. Um, the medium beige, I don't think it's pulling up on camera, but it definitely has more of a pink, cool undertone. Normally when I pick a foundation, I choose a foundation that has a yellow, olive, or neutral base. So I don't think that this is really going to be my perfect match. 
I'm actually gonna be doing a full day wear test of this product, so stay posted for a future video where I put this foundation to the test and I can give you my full and final opinion on this foundation. So the last two JCAT items that I picked up at Ulta are these. These are the Aura Glow Liquid Highlighters. These are Argon Oil Infused, so I don't know if that is going to mean that these are going to be super oily and if I'm gonna actually want to apply these to my face over finished makeup, but these were really affordable and online the colors looked beautiful, so I got these two shades here. The first shade is called Bella Rosa, and it's this beautiful pink iridescent highlighter. It just looks amazing, and look at this dropper bottle. This is a really large size dropper bottle, so you get a lot of product here. The second color that I got is called Crystal Sand, and this is a beautiful kind of sandy beige with silver glitter. This looks amazing. So let me show you what they look like on the hand. So let me just take a little bit of this color here. I want to show you how it blends out. So it shears down really, really nicely. The one thing I am definitely noticing is that they definitely are very oily. Obviously, the fact that they have argon oil included in the formulation is going to give it more of an oily effect. I'm curious to see if these are going to dry down. Um, if they don't dry down, I would probably not want to use these as a facial highlight, especially after putting on, you know, finished makeup. But I could maybe see these being used underneath foundation to be blended in with foundation or as a really nice body highlight. So it's been about 30 seconds and you know these have really not dried down fully. They do feel a little bit oily still. They're still moving around. As far as a highlight as a topper on top of finished makeup, I personally wouldn't choose to use these. I would be concerned that they would kind of pull and push my makeup around, but I could definitely see these being used maybe to mix in with your foundation or to wear under your foundation, or also these would be a gorgeous, gorgeous body highlight. Actually, speaking of a body highlight, I think I want to use a little bit on my shoulder since I have so much product here. We can't let it go to waste. Um, I'm loving the effect that it gave to my shoulder. I will definitely want to kind of play around with these a little bit. So I am gonna use these with maybe my foundation, my primer at some point. See if these actually will work with those formulas. But as far as a body highlight goes, these are really, really, really nice. So stay posted for a future video where I do my wear test for the Aqua Assurance Foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, like and comment, and I will check you guys out soon. Love you lots. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah.